Partridge Day episode. Oh, for fuck's sake, everybody. <laughs> what a freaking listening to the little leprechaun. This is for Irish people that don't even know what uh, why we celebrate uh, St. Patrick's Day. <laughs> Patty McKayla, how are you today? Kayla. Y'all sound stupid. <laughs> well, we're supposed to. That's what we do. Ah, for fuck's sake. I'm glad I wrote a whole intro. Thanks, Mark. Yeah, that was... Uh, oh, sorry, dude. Do you have a whole intro? I had a whole thing, but I, oh, I asked you about God, it. I did. I, did. <laughs> Say, I thought that was it. Hello? No, hey, no, I no. thought that was it. That's all right. We can redo this. We can uh, yeah. edit here. <laughs> That's what I <laughs> But it's our... Um, we're back. We're back. We're actually, no, we're three weeks out again. We had our all-time most downloaded episode next week. We did. We did last week. Hey, give us a... Did you say next week or last week? He said next week. Yeah. So next week will be our... (laughs) No. (laughs) We're counting on everybody. Last episode was our most uh, listened download episode. Most download? Applause. (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> well, hey, it, was, it was our most downloaded episode so it was kind of cool it was it was uh i like to thank everyone who's listening on samsung free because that seems to be where people are hearing us now so is that like something they give away for no it's it's a it's a free app for samsung phones and we've just gotten a ton of downloads from it so i appreciate samsung free for putting us samsung on. we want to thank you so much for being the sponsor <laughs> of this show right now it's, it's great so saint patrick's day so, do you know the origins of St. Patrick's Day? No. St. Patrick. I'm not Irish. No one even knows who he is. Ah, oh, for fuck's <laughs> sake, I'm St. Patrick. How are you? But, uh, in uh, 1631, the Catholic Church decided to honor St. Patrick, the patron saint of Ireland. And uh, people, some legend says St. Patrick was actually born Maywin Sukat. Sukat? Sukat? Su- 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 I don't know. <laughs> but uh, he had a, a lot of luck, quote unquote. You're not seeing the air quotes. This is radio. Um, a lot of luck from turning the Druids into Christians. So that's where the luck portion of St. Patrick's Day So where Day does all from. the alcohol and cussing Whoa, come in? No, that's where in. I want to know. So, where does that come in? So then the first St. Patrick's Day parade was in, uh, it wasn't until 1798. The year the Irish and the pillaging of women. What does that happen? 1798, (laughs) the the year the Irish rebellion rebellion that the color green was associated with Mm. St. Patrick's Day. Before that, it was blue. And believe it or not, it wasn't until a marketing push by the good folks at Budweiser before it actually became a party holiday. Why does that? Yeah, that doesn't even surprise. We don't. I mean, May fifth isn't even uh, Mexico's Independence Day. So why do I not think that Budweiser? May fifth is not Cinco de Mayo. Is not well, it's Cinco de Mayo? Yes, Carl, it, it, May 5th? Like, yes, May fifth is Cinco de Mayo, but it's real. It's not their real Mexican Independence Day. I did not know that. Yes, yeah, so uh, oh. that's another show. But uh, now, for fuck's sake, did you guys know that? Oh, you little shit! Hey, Michaela, how are you doing over there? Will you stop calling me that because you're Mikayla. calling me Michaela. Oh, it's Patty Michaela. Sorry, yeah. I'm abbreviating it for fuck's sake. Oh, Jesus Christ! Oh. <laughs> Bunch of horse shit, you little fuckers. March is a, uh, as I was looking at stuff, March is a, a full month between spring training starts and daylight saving time. By the way, by the time you hear this, daylight saving time should have already started. Which is a crock of shit, by the way. <laughs> well, okay. So, Mark, you know why. Well, one of the reasons our uh, daylight saving time started a long time ago because the farmers would get an extra hour to um, do their crops and sell and do longer they would they would get an extra hour so that's why they that's one of the reasons right why and it's kind of just stuck like that but so who invented daylight savings time oh for the fuck's sake it was dale god <laughs> his name was De- no i don't know no, it was actually benjamin franklin in 1798 he he benjamin, invented everything yeah he did he um he came up with the idea of he's uh, the be- elon musk before elon right. musk <laughs> he came up with the idea of uh daylight savings time to save on candles so apparently, well, if he, there's a hard there, you know, when you're running out of candles, that's big time shit. If I don't, he woke up closer to sunrise, he would use less candles in his house. So it was meant to save his uh, save energy. Oops, sorry. About it would that. probably prevent a lot of fires too. And then it wasn't it wasn't until all the way into the uh, World War One to early 1900s that it was adopted worldwide. 
Um, there's a big, huge push this year. This might be the last year you have to change your clocks. It doesn't affect us oh, here in Arizona. Oh, they've been talking about that for 10 years now. I don't think that ever. I don't think it ever. Well, it doesn't affect us here in Arizona. We don't, um, I think fa- it we has don't follow a- daylight savings time. <laughs> Did you know the Navajo Nation up in the northeast uh, corner does, the part of Arizona does uh, do the spring forward fall back thing? But anyway, they're pushing it to where it's done with after this spring forward. It thing. won't be. I They've hope. been saying that forever. It, the, only th- the, only time, the only reason it affects me is, is different TV shows that are on cable come on an hour later. You know what gets me in Arizona during the summer? That one thing that does bother me, the sun's up at like fucking four o'clock in the morning. And it, I don't mind that it goes down later. I'm OK with it because I know in the Midwest it stays up to like nine or ten. But it, it's seriously four thirty in the morning. The sun is up in Arizona during the height of the summer. Right. So if we actually were on daylight savings time, it would be coming up at 530. Right. I can accept that. I think I don't know. I think I'm OK with that. But it's a, yeah, it's a little weird on that. But, I, yeah, but there's a, it was yeah. all meant to save energy. That's why we in Arizona. We don't buck the trend. We don't give a shit. Hell no. Did you know that there's like some 35 minute time zones? No. In my research on this, I found time zone things. Did you know you sure this is big? Did you know? Did you know this is big? Hey, give us a little sound effect for that. For what? Just pick. Just... Did you know? Anyway, oh, shut up. God. <laughs> what a... It's 5 o'clock somewhere, except at 5.42 p.m. You have a lot of time on your hands. Yeah, I do. <laughs> just, I'm like, wow, my At 5.42 p.m. is the only time it is not 5 o'clock somewhere. Some parts of Australia and a couple of countries in Europe actually have 30 and 40 minute time zones. They don't have the full hour. That's wacky. So at 5.42 p.m. is the only time it's not 5 o'clock that's, somewhere. That's wild and wacky for all you. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah, too much time on my hands. That Move. is a lot. No, I. I <laughs> Give us enough. You are a plethora of information I'm today. I would like to, you know, come on. I would like some more useless information. <laughs> what, what was it useless? Come to our war for laugh and fuck's sake. <laughs> fucking McMarkey's telling you to fucking join in and listen. All right. Uh, March also Women's History Month. Yeah. Okay. Wah, 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 no. Wah, no. Wah. I, women deserve just as yes, much. Yes, they do. However, in the interest of equality and stuff like that, why do they need their own month? Because Women's History Month actually started out as I could a, be really rude here and say since they have their period <laughs> once a month, they're taking this wow, month to go ahead and wow. do that. that could, so wow. they're all joining together during one month. Jimmy Carter, 1978. Unity. Jimmy Carter, 1978, uh, the first week of March. Whatever with National Women's Day is March 8th. So Jimmy Carter decides that first week of March is... Uh, is there a man's day? Women's hit. Oh, of course not. We don't get anything. <laughs> And then uh, it was it You're shaking your head, but it's the truth. When do you see Man's Day? In 1994, Congress passed the, to uh, make the whole month of March Women's History Month. Of course. Why don't they make it the whole fucking year? <laughs> it's <laughs> Women's Day every day for the year. Yada. Send your concerns to yeah. Jim and Mark <laughs> at our work. Yeah, world. Jim's bringing it up. So I go, come Again, on. Uh, we want equal treatment. We want this, but we have February is certain history month, March is certain history month. There's but everyone no wants to be equal. Mark month. When does Mark get a month? Mark does not ever get a month. <laughs> kind of pisses me off on that. Listen, do you guys deserve a week. I'll give you a week. I don't know if you get a month. I mean, I, I, where we? why do we always get the shaft? Guys get the shaft. No, because because. Be- Whoa! See, you all. I can agree. You guys have vaginas and have. Th- that's big. I mean, it, it's big. I mean, it. No, that, that's, that, that's not what I mean. It's it's not that wow. it's big. I, I'm not that, <laughs> Ladies, not that send your big. complaints directly to Mark I on mean, that one. I'm not going to turn you away. I mean, it's just a you know. Tie board anyway, on your ass and. Yeah, but but. <laughs> Yeah, you ladies, I mean, I know you guys give birth, and that's a big deal. You keep, you procreate, you keep the world going. You really do. But a whole month for that? I no, wh- why can't why can't women's history be just part of history? Why, no, why can't they be? because that's not going to happen. Because women aren't a part of history. We weren't allowed to be. Rosa Parks was a part of history. Uh, Susan B. Anthony, part of history. Betsy Ross, part of history. Um uh, Stormy Daniels is a part of history. Uh, sure. At, yeah, at, at some is. point. She's, she's my history. Hell yeah. Not your fucking browser history. <laughs> my browser yeah, not your browser history. Mark, that was funny. Blondes.com. <laughs> ah, no, but I'm, my, my, my point is everyone wants equality, but yet we give their own months, their own channels, their own, you know, 
and I just every me, day is equal. a day. It's like National Hot Dog Day, National Redhead Day, National Be a Couch Day. There, it's it, it it's there's a day every day. We missed Be a Couch Day. We did. We <laughs> missed Be a Couch Day. We, we were supposed it. to do a whole show on Be a Couch I, it was Day. It's freaking crazy. But we it's, it's 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 there's a day every day. But you don't see Man Day. Where no, is Man Day? You'll never see you Man Day. You are just sounding like a typical man. Remember. Oh! Do you if I had boobs in front of me, I'd be looking at those right now, okay? So <laughs> you should be used to that by now. Do boobies. You, do you remember Say it um, with me, Jim, Man boobies. TV? What, what was Man that? TV. They would jump on trampolines and jubbly, jubbly, no, that jubbly. Was, that was the man show. That was, that was awesome. Adam, Adam what, was their, I, what was their thing? They would jump on trampolines and drink beer, and they'd go... Yeah. Ooga, ooga, ooga. I don't remember it at all, but they yeah, had a whole... Jim, you can't say that because his wife's here. No, no, <laughs> I really... I re- I remember the man show because it was Jimmy Kimmel and Adam Carolla. Um, Jimmy Cr- Kimmel still has a career. They had girls at the end jump on trampolines and drink beer in and, freaking and I actually, in tank tops. It was the greatest thing ever. It was awesome. I actually found that kinda... What is wrong with men being shallow and looking at shallow things? Why does that disgust women so much? Because you don't value... Because men don't know when to stop. They don't know the boundary. So you think it's okay to ogle someone, but someone who has insecurities or... You don't think men have insecurities? No, I'm not saying that. I'm not saying men don't have anything. I'm saying you look at a woman's chest, maybe she doesn't like to be looked at. So now she feels disgusted because she feels just objectified or whatever. But you don't care. You don't, I do. I no, don't want to hurt anybody's don't. feelings, but I'm going to go look at the next set of breasts. If you don't, want me, look some at, I, if you don't want me looking at your breasts, I'm going to go look at the girl that's going to let me look at her breasts. Some men also don't know the word no, so they're going to oh, sit there and wrong. follow so, people and do weird shit. And so you don't it's be like, disrespectful to women. You don't touch. You don't do Jared's stuff here. Like that. <laughs> but yeah, Jared's here. Who wants a Subway sandwich? Ah, oh, for fuck's sake, Jared's here. Hide your daughters. Oh, my God. Oh, my. Oh, your little boys. Oh. <laughs> My God, I'd just like a freaking turkey sandwich with a side of 14-year-old boy, please. Ah, oh, Jared. It's about what he likes. <laughs> no, the thing, in March, uh, spring training starts here in the Valley and I'm sure other places around the country. So, Mark, you're the sports guy here. We've got questions on these new rules in baseball. I'll try to answer them. Why? They're trying to make it more towards her generation, our millennial generation, to watch it more and to spend more time. Actually, spend less time because the average length of a baseball game was 318 or something like that. Now the pitch counts and everything else, or not the, the pitch clock, you have it down to like yeah, so they have under fif- three. 15-second timer with the bases empty and a 20-second timer for runners It's awesome on base. because there's too many times you would watch baseball and you'd be like, oh. And you know what's even worse is if you play the game. So I've played baseball and everything else. So if your pitcher is taking forever to throw the ball and you're behind him, you're literally going, throw the fucking ball. You know, throw the ball. Let's go. Let's get fucking freaking on this. So, and, and this is good for everything. I think it's good all the way around. I don't, I'm still not too sure on which started last year was the extra inning starter runner on second base. I don't know if I like that. I didn't ever heard of that. What happened? Yeah, they, that, that was started last year. So, <laughs> in extra innings, they start a uh, ghost runner at second base to try to speed it up. And it sped up a lot of times. There were no more 18 inning games or 17 oh, inning games. Okay. So, they, they. So, someone runs out there. Your last out goes to second base, and that's, it's just your inherited runner is what it's called. So, and they it, and they kept that over. That's the only. But I like the pitch count, and you know, I I I think we're gearing towards the um, um, strike zone that's going to be just done by cameras. I think that's the next thing is where we'll go to. I wait. I'm looking for rule number two here. Do you like baseball, Kayla? No. So you do you is there a reason why though? What's just what's the specific reason? I've never really liked sports in general because one, I don't know what's going on, and then two. Just in that aspect, that shit can take over almost four to five hours to play. And it's like, all you guys got to do is run in a circle. Like, so that's what they're trying to eliminate right there. It, it, it Let's get the person that doesn't want to spend, because they know attention spans have gone to squirrel. Yeah. You know, and you, and you, you need to look elsewhere. So that's what baseball is trying to do is cut time off. So people that are on the fence like you, and eh, now I can watch this for under three hours and this might be okay. See, like, I want to go to a spring training game, don't know what's going on, but I just mainly want to go, one, to go outside, and then two, just to go out with friends kind of thing. Sure. 
I don't want to go for a blast in Arizona. So let me ask this: the money guys, did the money? You think the money guys got pissed off because now that's thirty minutes less of advertising time? Could be, but I don't. I don't think. I think if you're drawing more people in, it doesn't matter that half hour. If you're looking, so you're looking half hour. You're maybe looking eighteen minutes of advertising tops. I think eighteen. But if you have more viewership, I don't think it matters. Hmm. Okay. So that's my my general estimate uh, on that. Second one was the bases are like two or three inches bigger. Well, that's, they should be. It's just so no one gets hurt. I don't know why everybody's causing such a big deal. It's really so, just so you don't get hurt. Hmm. If you play softball or anything like that, they extend the base. It's an extra base on top of the base so you can walk, run through it. It's just so you don't get hurt. And what's the third one? Defensive shift limits. Oh, yeah, that which is the best in ever that they in. That they what, did. what is that? So it used to be left-handed hitters would get screwed because they would rotate everybody to the other side of the infield because most of the time, percentage-wise, left-handed hitters hit to the freaking right-hand side of the infield when you're facing it. So they, you're actually your third baseman would shift over to second. Your second baseman would play like a shallow uh, right center, and you'd hit into the shift. So it would take away a lot of left-handed hitters, just their natural ability to hit through there. So uh, they've changed that now, so you can go back and left-handed hitters can actually. So now they can't move guys. They cannot shift like they that. Cannot so shift. Oh, you cannot right. shift. So it's and it's. I think that's a a brilliant move to be honest with you, because it was ruining baseball. It was ruining the left-handed hitter, but that's right. me in general. Hmm. Very yeah. interesting. But if you guys, but back to spring training, just in general, in Arizona and Florida, it generates so much money, and it's so. I mean, listen. I don't go to spring training games because I'm a Diamondback fan. I live in Arizona. There's no reason for me to go see. I'll just wait till opening day and I'll go see real stuff. But for people that are all the transplants out here for us, it's amazing. I mean, how they played into it perfect. The Cubs, sometimes you're paying 60, 80 bucks for spring training tickets to see the Cubs. That's stupid. I mean, you're supposed to be able to go for 10, 15 bucks, sit on the lawn, Mm -hmm. bring a picnic, bring your kids and sit out there and watch some games. And it's, it's changing a little bit, but it's cool for Arizona. We've had, a great February and March between the Super Bowl and freaking um, um, Phoenix Open. Phoenix Open, right? The management open, and now it's just it's just an amazing opportunity. This is where Arizona thrives. This is why you come. Yeah, I'd like. To, I, I I I thought I never went to one, but I did go to a uh, whoever's out in Goodyear. I think it's the Reds. Mm-hmm. I think I went to one of their games once. Yeah. Um, weird thing. Texas is out there. Too, first so. Diamondback game I ever went to. Marks. I don't know if he won the tickets or whatever, but had tickets to Friday's front row, which was a TGI Friday's at the ballpark. Yeah, it just shut down last year. So. Okay, okay. So, amazing place to watch a game. Comfortable seats, and you're you're at the if restaurant. If you're in that first second, we if were. not, if you're in the restaurant. I know. we. I remember what you're talking about. But if you're sitting in the restaurant, you're screwed. I mean, you no, have to be sitting at those you, four tables. Yeah, that, they got these tables that face the glass. Right, so we field. got those. Pretty cool. And that was actually, I really enjoyed myself. Um, so I went back to games sitting, you know, down in the seats like the peons and stuff like that. I can <laughs> Mark treats me well sometimes. Used to. Um, I'm sure I got him free because I was yeah, yeah, I'm sure I got him free. Um but yeah, I can go to a game and sit and watch it and be relatively entertained. I cannot watch one on TV to save my life. Oh what I like about baseball on TV is you can turn it on, do the laundry. Make your dinner or whatever until check back in and say, oh, now it's the bottom of the fourth. Okay, now it's – and then if somebody's on base, you're, okay, they're threatening here. Okay, so it's not something that you got to watch nonstop for stuff to happen like hockey or okay. – uh, yeah. I mean, so football, things happen pretty quick. And they're, but baseball, yeah, you, you can – but now they're eliminating that with the pitch clock. So they're hoping that you will spend more time in front of the TV, which is actually less time because of this pitch clock. So that huh. you don't – now you don't mind spending – Two and a half hours instead of three hours and 15 minutes. 45 minutes cuts that time off. Hmm. So that's what they want to do. And they want to bring in the younger generation. But you can tell she's like, baseball. <laughs> baseball. <laughs> ah, for fuck's sake, Look over there, uh, Patty uh, Michaela. How you, doing? you got any thoughts on March Madness? Yeah, bet on Arizona, man. Take the Wildcats. The, the Wildcats? Yeah, absolutely. You think the Wildcats are going to take the whole thing? They're pretty good. They, I think last year's team was better than this year's team, but it is wide open this year. So I think Arizona is just as good as bet as anybody. Really? Yeah, See, I, yeah. don't, I don't follow college basketball enough. You know, obviously ASU, the Wildcats. Kansas, Texas, Houston, but is Arizona. There, is there spend, if, you're going, if you're going down or you're getting on FanDuel tonight, put 20 bucks on Arizona. I think they're 30 to 1, and I think you guys the safe gets a good bet. Ooh. 
right. It is. I don't have FanDuel, but that'd be fun. So I'm telling you, take Arizona. Take Arizona to win the national championship. Syracuse isn't even in it? Bayheim just, uh, I don't think he, this was by choice. After re- now he said he's thrilled to be retired. Nobody says well, that. Well, he was like 45 years. 47. 47, 47 years, years as coach, uh, coach of the yeah. uh, Syracuse University. And uh, he was like he's thrilled to be. He's not thrilled to be. I think, I think uh, they the kind of said, hey, 80 something, you're 100 right? years old. Get the hell out of here. Right, right. So That's yeah. how it is. But so, it is so. <laughs> so now so. what we've got. Uh, so I want to talk about the Oscars. We had put some claps. Oh, uh, Nobody claps for the Oscars. They do. I'd like to thank the Academy for screwing me up the ass. No, but I'm so the one thing I listen, the Oscars is weird. Okay, and I'm not okay even, wait, 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 wait. Stop. First of all, this is going to air after the Oscars. Right. So shows. you guys are going to already we're, watch this. So I'm going to try to gear the conversation around you already watching this. Yeah. You nine, we we record on Saturday that, nights. The Oscars on. will be tomorrow night. So yes. keep that in mind as we talk. Okay. So what what is really weird? So I don't mind. Usually the best picture category has four or five pictures. Six. This year's eight. The only three that I recognize is Maverick, uh, Elvis, The Whale, and there's one other one I I kind of recognize. See, I don't even see the, the whale on the list. The only two I saw was Maverick and um, uh, Jesus. What else? What did I did I see? I Elvis. Don't, I don't see the whale on the list. The whale should be on the list. Is no, it not I've, on the list? I've got the nominees for best picture are Top Gun Maverick, Women Talking, Everything Everywhere All at Once, The Banshees of Insurance. Which is actually a good movie. Okay. Triangles of Sadness, The <laughs> Fablemans, All Quiet on the Western Front, Which Avatar, I swear The came Way out of in Water, 1968. Elvis, and tar with a chk or a chink you know it should be on the there though it's missing the transportation department by mark tarabori that should be on there but that's a we're, different we're waiting patiently day. 80 20 the movie <laughs> the transportation department so i don't better. i do not see the whale on there um uh of, of course i'm going to choose maverick um i watched that again yesterday and it was i would like them to just do it because it would be just a screw you and it because you know he probably has no chance and everything else. But if they did it to him, I think everybody'd be like, okay. Because well, I don't know, did he win? Didn't he win for Born on Fourth of July? I believe that's that's his. I think that was his other yeah. claim to fame. But because this movie's so cheesy, but it's so good. But it, the 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 buildups of it, so it couldn't fail it, because they the the buildup of everything and everything, and then it out. Did what everybody thought it was going to do. So I almost think you got to give it to him by default. He's not going to win, but you almost got to give it to Tom Cruise by default. Uh, and you got he won't. And I think what I'm saying right now, my money is it's not on Tom Cruise. But no, I I I have not seen any of these except Maverick. Um, but I'm I'm going to choose the Fablemans. I I heard it's a great movie. I, I'd like to see it. I haven't. I bet you it's one of those dumb triangle it. ones or something yeah, stupid. Some... It's just dumb. That a, tar with a chink or yeah, a sugar, a sugar. I don't know what, what a sugar. What is that thing called that's above the letter A? I'm somewhere? a sugar. Is it a is it a Jewish movie? Is that no, I'm a, a sugar? A yeah, I, I, or a chink or something? I don't know. Oh, anyway. no, hey, it's a no. Chinese movie. So what the there, hell are you doing over there? Dear, dear God, so Jim, my Mark, God. Mark's prediction. Hey, hey. <laughs> you guys will know if we're right or wrong instantly because you already watched this on Sunday. So Mark's prediction for best picture is. I want what I want it to be. Okay, what you want, what it will be. I want it to be Maverick. What will it be? One of those other movies. I'm taking the field. <laughs> no, pick, pick one. Pick I one. don't even Come know on. half of them, man. Get away. Yeah. Can I just like throw a dart at the? You know, <laughs> Not okay, my phone. <laughs> take that one. So I don't know. Right. I take the field. I'm gonna. I'm gonna say I want Maverick, but I think it's gonna be the Fablemans again. That's just. I don't think the Fablemans. With I don't think they give Steven Spielberg. Oh, you know anything. what? I bet you it's that Avatar crap. I don't know. I did not like the first Avatar. I don't That's think I like this one. That's crazy talk. The first Avatar was groundbreaking. Uh, special effects, sure. Well, yeah. Great, but what else I, do you want? That's why you like Star Wars for the first time. You went for the acting? I mean, you oh, like no. Star Wars because of freaking the way uh, all the, the effects were. No one could act in Star Wars. No. That was Harrison Luke. Ford's worst movie. It's not Luke. I'm your sister. <laughs> or you're my sister. Didn't we just make out? That was Harrison we Ford's second movie. We were just about ready to have sex. Movie, third movie? I don't know. Did yeah, anybody really terrible. think? Luke, they were about to have, they were about to do it. 
They were not. They were not. We were right there. The droids were right there. They were not about to do it. You can't do it in front of droids? Droids, turn off. (laughs) They turn off. That's all you got to say. You think it would have been that easy? We wouldn't have to go through nine fucking movies if it was that easy. (laughs) That is true. Because what would have made it fun? Leah would have been pregnant. Life would have been hard. You've been living in a trailer up in the sky. <laughs> and it, that's how it would have been. She would have destroyed Luke's life. You never would have been a whatever. He'd have been working at the local cafe. I don't even know where either that's one of you are saying. going with this. Freaking, You're right. If they they were brother gonna, and sister. If they would have hooked up. That happens every day in real life. Yeah, but the, I'm meaning the whole Just turn, go to Apache just Junction, okay? The yeah, that, I'm sure robot that off by just saying robot off. I think oh. you can do that. I could just say Alexa off. Alexa, yeah, 3PO different. off. <laughs> I don't think it works that way. Not in the, Alexa wasn't around in the 70s. Now, R2-D2 turned himself off for an entire movie. He had a mental breakdown and fucking went into a coma. See, this is how the young people think of freaking how Star Wars is. We have a totally different take on how Star Wars was, but you take it a little differently, okay? Do you think it was a mental breakdown? You think he really just R two D two? Yes. You think a droid can't turn off? Shut the fuck up! We're having a serious conversation here. So, if anyone hasn't seen the new Star Wars or anything like that, obviously go watch those. But it's been like twenty years since they came out, so whatever. Yes, I truly think R2 went into a depressive fucking whatever and turned himself off because he couldn't find Luke. Huh. He had a mental breakdown and went psychotic. They have no brain. (laughs) Does it mean that they can't? That's literally what it was. He shut himself off because he couldn't find Luke or whatever the... Whatever. See, this is the younger generation. No, woke. no, I'm sorry. This is Star Wars nerds, because you think through all nine movies, who was the hero? R2, Jar Jar Binks. Jar Jar. Jar Jar Binks. R2, B, R2-D2 saved the, the princess in the first one. R2-D2 saved Anakin in the second one. He was one. tired. Yeah, he, he was, was just tired. tired. He's like, fuck being... this. Luke's taking a break, so am I. <laughs> Screw no, this. No, <laughs> I don't think it was that. I think he had some sort of guilt or something and he turned himself off until they found Luke because then he turned himself back on once they found well, out. No, that he Luke... had the missing map. So Yeah, once they found Luke. They didn't find Luke without R2. R2 had So to you're wake telling up. me the droid had a he was uh missing Luke. Yes. And he went into a depression and shut down. Mm-hmm. And when Luke came back He put himself into a coma. And then he had the map. I don't so remember the how movie. Do you, how do you think the 3PO handled it better? Well, C3PO's They wiped gay. his brain, we didn't they? We do know they? that, right? No. If there's a gay after, droid, it's C3PO. After, after episode three, they did. Right, Carla? Yeah, so he doesn't remember anything that happened. No, up until episodes three. four. Or he even four, walks like a gay six, guy. And then Luke goes C3PO missing. C3PO does. Episode seven, 3PO still... Doesn't remember. No, he remembers because his, his memory hadn't been wiped since Luke was born. I don't know. That was the last time. So how did 3PO handle it? Did he have a better therapist or? Probably. I know. That's what I'm wondering. So if you're, does a regular human talk to the droids or is it a droid talking to a droid about their issues? a droid talking to a droid. So you didn't get enough WD-40 Because a human's not going to understand That was a silly question, Mark. A droid talking to a droid or a human talking to a droid? A human talking to a droid. What kind of silliness are you talking about? not going to understand a droid's like thinking. You're not going to understand how R2 had a what mental breakdown. What if I went to droid breakdown. school and I'm a doctor in droidism? How did we end up on this? I think I, I, I could be a doctor in droidism. <laughs> no, for fuck's sake. You know, I could be a doctor in droidism. Yay, I can. Anyway, where the fuck were we anyways with what we were talking about? This is why this show is unsuccessful. Right here, right now. I understand everybody out there listening to us right now. I get it. I would turn off too. It's because you're yelling into a microphone right in front of you. Shut up! Yeah, you gotta understand, Mark's microphone is mere inches from his mouth, and he still bye, feels bye, the need bye, to yell. Bye, bye, bye. <laughs> bye, Ryan. All right, let's take a little break. We'll come back. Mark's got, uh, do we call the game? or? Well, it- no, we're gonna we're gonna test uh, Kayla. We're gonna test a millennial against 70s. Oh, and we're back. As promised, our Country Thunder update with Kayla. Go ahead, Kayla. What do you got? Country. I don't honestly have that much of an update. I do, but... um, 
Christmas. <laughs> <laughs> I actually, it doesn't have anything to do with Country Thunder. It has to do with my Instagram. There's actually a small music festival happening in Tucson the weekend of St. Patrick's Day, 17th, 18th, 19th. Ah, for fuck's sake! It's the Patty first Michaela. year that they're doing it out there, and they actually reached out to me to come out there and like promote for them and all that kind of stuff. So I'm yeah, probably going to cool. go out there and hopefully do that. And What's we'll going to be your happens. stage name? Uh, nothing. Okay, well. I'm not a stage. <laughs> well, you know, but they're going to like T-Bone or, you know, or so, you know. No. No, I don't. <laughs> yeah, I don't have a stage name. Well, we need to get and you. Where can people see the information? We need to get you a cool That's freaking y'all. stage name. I don't promote myself. Y'all can promote it. Okay. Where can we find CTAZ that? C T A Z Adventures. C T A Z Adventures. Also, update on my Amazon storefront is I've made That's twenty dollars. Right. Yes. Wow. Yeah. Woo-hoo. Give her a. Can Make you give her sales. something? Uh, uh, oh my gosh. I suck at this. Man. <laughs> Oh, well, that's, yeah. $20, yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah that's thanks. what we really think. It's way too late for that. It's, it's it, like, no. What? I can edit. That's almost where your doctor tells you you're going to die and then you owe me you, the, uh, as you're walking out. That's what you did right yeah, And what's your Amazon storefront? I, don't, I honestly don't remember that one because I was It's like up. Amazon forward slash shop forward slash CTAZ adventures or something like that. Wah, wah, Wait, wah, Amazon.com wah. forward slash shop? Yes. Amazon.com forward slash shop shop forward, forward slash CTAZ adventures. Yeah, go there and check out Kayla's uh, storefront on all the things that you will need for Country Thunder. For Everyone's hat. starting to ramp up with their stuff now. So you have, there's a lot of people that are coming out of the woodworks right now. That the are, countdown's on, right? Oh, it's my first year, so I need this. So I've helped out a few people already trying like to find girl. their sites and stuff like that. So awesome. that's been happening. You're your Arizona Country Thunder ambassador, Kayla. I know. Give her some. <laughs> I some should start line. charging people and just be like twenty dollars an hour. I'll do it all for yeah, you. <laughs> you can coordinate the whole thing. You could freaking be like, I'll buy your site. I'll do everything for you. Ooh. There's a person that I know that's going out there. They have nine, nine. Jesus. Yeah, that's a lot, right? Yeah. No, that is. We own one, and then we actually are going to rent two from a different lady. How big are each spots? They're supposed to be nineteen by forty, but if Country Thunder doesn't measure them correctly. Where people don't move the damn flags and give themselves more space. And then there was one year that the lands got all messed up. I think I kind of know if I pull up and I'm like, hey, hey, hey. <laughs> like a small shower. Hey, I don't think this is the right, the right amount. <laughs> yeah. No, there was one year they the lands were all messed up and stuff like that. So they ended up um, shorting us. It was like 15 by like 32. Did they give you money back? No, they didn't. Bastard. So, yeah, that year wasn't fun. We made it work. I'm pretty sure the site 50 I fifty by thirty two is not that big. No, we. I barely... don't even think so. it's not the size of this room. Thirty two feet. That's bigger than thirty two feet. Uh, no. From here all the way over there. I would say that's more than thirty two feet. And then you only get fifteen feet wide. Something like that. It's supposed well, to be. You're six foot. So imagine you're laying down six of you across. Right. I, I, I'd be pretty close. I mean, he, I, I will I have another. Room. I'll smoke a little more and we could try. I mean, <laughs> I I we'll move the couch. Yeah, this yeah. room from wall to wall, I think, is a little bit more than 32. I think it's more than 32. Yeah. So. Okay. Anyways. Okay. But so yeah, it's not really so. that big. It's the size of this room, basically. Yeah. No. The 19 by 40 can fit like a standard like Trailer. RV motorhome kind of thing. But if you have one of those gigantic ones, you're going to have to get two spots and figure that out wow i thought they were bigger than that but i guess why would they have to be if you're only bring yeah i mean because you can fit that's four why or five lot, people comfortably in an rv that's so. why a lot of people want multiple sites like i only have one and i would love to get a second one so that i had two next to each other so that i don't have to finagle where the car is going to get parked where the rv is going to be parked where we're going to put the tent and where we're going to do all this so if shit. you don't have that what do you have to do you have to park outside and then walk in if you don't camp? Yeah, if you don't have a site. Yeah, if you don't camp out there, there's parking. So you just park there, go in for the concert, and then you have to leave by 2 a.m. So we did that our very first how year. Do they, how do they do that, though? I think because that lot needs to be empty. So cars that aren't in or that are. I just still take an there. Uber, though. So 
I mean, I, do, they can't check wristbands or anything. So there are. Yeah, they do. No, it's do obviously ever, if the if the lot has to be empty at two and the car's still there, take it. Tow I it. would Uber. Tow it. Tow it. Yeah, but I'd Uber. Yeah, no, you can do that. That's perfect. But ha- if I get in and I want to stay for the other three days, your car's been towed because no, you're I supposed Ubered to be there. Out. Oh. I Ubered there. I got in. How oh would no, you probably I'm... get away with that. No, yeah, you can absolutely do that. I mean, everything closes at I, the a festival ground closes. I think at two. Well, I would just make friends and go sack on their lawn or something. Exactly. So, I mean, if you make friends with anyone in the campgrounds and you just crash at their shit, but like that's kind of weird to do, but. I, I mean, this is the. There's a lot of people renting out their sites right now, so I've been telling everyone like, if you even think about going, just rent out the campsite. Like, get a tent, do whatever. It's always about the secondary. Yeah, market, you should be a broker. It? Just have people go through you, and you can do all that. Exactly. You. Do you want to rent your spot out? Call Kayla. I'll get your. Fi- I'll get you top dollar for your freaking uh, country thunder spot i have thought about doing that because a lot of people like i said i've had at least three this week reach out to me and say how do i know that i'm not getting scammed what questions do i ask what do i blah 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 that could be a good little business yeah I mean, and i was like here just go to these we're patenting it tomorrow you bastards <laughs> we're freaking doing this so i think a little service to, to offer though just to make sure they're not getting scammed and shit like that. yeah that's a pretty that's actually a pretty brilliant idea so i mean that's why i do it for free ultimately just because it's like i want people to be i wish i would have had someone the first year we went or even the second year that we went to tell me what to do so i didn't waste all the money that we wasted in those first two years even though we continue to waste money <laughs> Still, see i, I want to see you eventually get to the point of how i can save money going to country thunder how you get you'd be a whole advisor or anybody going the only problem with that is that it depends on what you have. If you don't have an RV, of course you can tent camp, but to me, tent camping is just miserable because it's so hot out there, so you're not sleeping during the day. You know, sometimes at night it gets so cold out there that you're, like, freezing to death, but then at 6 a.m. you're fucking wide awake because you're burning alive. So it, it really just depends on, like, what... M- what you have if you already have an rv then that takes out some how many really cost. tent camp there though they're 10 percent, 20 percent. i wouldn't know probably like 20 percent, because a lot of people are in that way they can't find an rv they don't have the money they don't have the well, it's not Woodstock, resources for God's sake. well yeah but you think about uh pir same thing. Everyone's in RVs out there. Maybe a few. That's their houses. That's different, though. <laughs> they you, just drive, I could not see everybody tent- at PI just driving their house up there for the time is what they're doing. So <laughs> I could not see um, tent camping at PIR. I used to work in that parking lot no, every day. Either. And I remember 7 a.m. one time we had a thermometer, like the floor for thermometers or whatever. It was Damn. already like 90 degrees and it was 7 a.m. and the fucking sun wasn't even over the mountain yet. And that that was in in April when Country Thunder happens, because obviously uh, in June or July, sure it's 100 degrees. It's a hundred degrees. I want to say it was like sidewalk. April, May, May. Okay. Uh, no, it would have had to been later. It probably would have been like August. Yeah. So what's what's it like in May? But still, that just surrounded by all that concrete and stuff like that, it, yeah. it would be miserable. It yeah, would be miserable. And I know they just redid all that concrete out there so, too. So recommendation probably... number one: don't tent camp at Country Thunder. I mean, if it's something that you have to do, then you have to do it, you know? Obviously. I think I would leave and go stay at a hotel and come back the next day or something like that is what I think I'd do. I understand that aspect of it. But then again, if you're drinking, obviously you shouldn't be driving. And then two, Snoozing a, and boozing before a lot of people <laughs> are freaking partying in the campgrounds till all sorts of hours. So it's like, you might as well just spend the money because year two, we were going to get a hotel. Me, Jamie, and two girls that I used to work with, all four of us were going to split a hotel room, and then the two girls backed out. Jamie and I were going to pay, I think, like six fifty to $800 uh. for the one room, and then still had to drive back and forth 30 minutes. But thankfully, we found a campsite for $300, and we just tent camped, but then came home Saturday because it was not fun. I mean, you got to really love what you're doing. I would, I would think if you're tent, I'm not a tent camper, anyways. No, no, no. Every I will pay 
to take an RV out there. And as At you're some really point, older, I would... camping is I want a log cabin <laughs> with a jacuzzi. No, I'll tell you when, when I go and a hooker and some blow. That's what I want for my camping. When I when I go camping, I I always sleep outside. Even my friends had a. Uh, you know, mobile home type thing up at uh, Parker, and I always slept out on the front porch. I always sleep outside. You've always done that. I, I just like sleeping. Most of the time, when she throws you out, like, <laughs> get out. She throws you out like but, the cat. Uh, but in a situation like that, and I don't know, I don't know. I'd probably still sleep outside, but I, I wouldn't sleep much. That's for sure. Do people still do that? Remember the old days when you, they used to take the cat and throw it outside? Do they? Do they, they still no. do that? The Flintstones? No. Well, just anybody. Remember, they would always throw the cat. No, outside. everyone has dog doors, and cats go out on their own. Yeah, cats, right. cats run the house. So, any more, any more country thunder news? No, because you're having this up until when we do. You're gonna have at least one, maybe two more updates on this. No, yeah, for right and then now. of course the afterward, we're gonna want the big. Sure. Yeah, update. no, I'll have the wrap up and all that afterwards. But for now, it's pretty much just you know tomorrow when we're recording this. Tomorrow will be thirty days, and it's just crunch time getting food and nice. Getting all of our shit done. and Well, I know people appreciate the updates. I think it's freaking cool. I think uh, once you start doing more, you'll be more updated. So I like that. So, But we're going to be right back. We've got, again, fun, we well, got a fun game coming. Yeah, let's well, mention again, CTAZ Adventures on Instagram and Amazon.com forward slash shop forward slash CTAZ Adventures dot com. We'll Dear Lord, up. say that. <laughs> Can you do that fast? It'll, Three all, times. it'll all be in the post reel. Wow. Okay, goodbye. <laughs> all right. Yeah, so what we do, on this show, you know that we have Kayla, our millennial. Hit a button, Feliz, for that. For what? What button do you want want for the millennial? Because I want a button, big. I want... I don't have a millennial button. Anyway, yes, there, our millennial right there. She she cut her off, too. But I wanted to talk about slang. You know, so a lot of these young kids nowadays are, you're texting or you're doing something and BRB. I didn't know BRB was be right back until, I thought it was like they forgot the U for Burger King or whatever. I really did. I like... So I don't know. So what we're going to do today is we're going to do today's tech slang and slang. Yeah, you're right. Yes, I know you don't like this game, Callie. I'm sorry. And 70s slang is what we're going to do. Well, so, now that you say that, though, that's weird how slang is mostly you now text, BRBs and it LOLs is. and stuff like that versus things that were said in the 70s. So, so this should... is what we would have had in the 70s and we would have we'll, we'll come up with abbreviations for some of these 70s ones that we can do too. So If we had texting in the 70s. Yeah, if we had texting it. Yes. Okay. So, this is what it is. It's just it's not a game. I just you need to come up with some millennial jargon that we don't know, text or whatever, and then I'm going to give you some 70s text, okay? So start me off one. Start me off with what the kids are using nowadays. I didn't know I was going first. I would have been better prepared. So the one that I still get tripped up on is TLDR. I think I know this one. TLDR. Talk to you later. TLDR. Did you even hear the words that I (laughs) said? (laughs) So that's not right. No, not at all. <laughs> so T R T L D R D R T is. I don't. How long am I supposed to give them? Don't. Like, let's go. Move on. Okay. So T L D R means too long. Didn't read. So a lot of people will make these long ass emails, but then we'll put a T L D R of this. So it's okay that so you spill your heart out to me and I just read my back too long to read every text I send you. Fuck you, TLDR. Wow. That's gonna be my favorite so I thing. Get, and that's okay with you? No, it's ultimately so. Like I said, they'll send this long email about you know Bob getting his promotion and how he served in the military and da 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 da. But then like at the beginning, it'll just say TLDR. Bob got a promotion, so people don't have to read the whole freaking thing if they didn't want to. I will now know how to text you, Mark. <laughs> I might. Wow. TLDR. I would have never got that. TLDR, right. I wrote so an opening talk. for the show. Right. Please don't talk over me. So this is the 70s. Man, he's really got an issue with that. Oh, for fuck's sake, you need to get over this for Higgin McJimmy. Oh, my God. Okay. Okay, so this is one from the 70s, all right? Deep six. I have no idea. Deep six. Deep throat. No, it's not a sexual thing. It's not. Deep six. So when you want to get rid of something in the seventies, you deep sixed it. I. Shot I it? was I was born no, in yeah. nineteen seventy, so I don't know it, these things. I don't need that. I'm deep sixing. Yeah, I that. know about eighty sixing things. 
but not deep sixing it. All right, so we both didn't know. Okay, uh, your turn. All right, no, what's yours? Are you want me another one? No. What is the answer to that? What deep is six. What it means is when you want to get rid of something, you say, "I'm deep sixing it." That's what the seventies like. Don't shake your head. That's what it was. Okay. So, um, I'm not being. Re- I re- never re- heard Greg Brady deep six anything. Deep six. I know it sounds like a porno thing. It does. Deep six nine. Well, we go right I mean, to deep throat. I'm just gonna okay. deep six nine you. <laughs> <laughs> Moving right along. All right, here we go. Uh, let's today's slang. Okay, so this one is what's a simp? What's a simp? Simp. A nerd. A okay, dork, use a it in a pimp. sentence, please. <laughs> you use I it don't in... even know how to use it in a sentence. I'm no, I don't know what is. Almost thirty. What is a simp? So old. It says it means when someone does way too much for a person they like. Does so a lot of from so what I does read way on. Too- does way too much for a person they like. So, like, what I've seen on, like, TikTok dance. is, like, if a guy does something for a girl, like, does just too much, he's a simp for her because he's... He butters her toast. He... The smut man. <laughs> <laughs> Mark, he's you are smart. not a simp. <laughs> I am not a simp. Damn it. I might be a simp. <laughs> You're I not can. a simp. I can get I eat this. So much. I, I, okay. okay. So, so, all right. All right. We both, so we're all over three right now because none of us know. No. Okay. All right. So this is the shagging wagon. Isn't that just a Volkswagen? No, that's a station wagon. Right. No. I don't know. Station wagon that you bone people in. This is a station wagon. Yes, it was. Or you actually lived in your shagging wagon. If you had a van, the, yeah, the I'm VW in the shagging wagon. Or, yes, or, or the shagging wagon. The, so uh, the that's sh- what a shagging wagon is. The Ford was. Econoline series, the shagging wagon. Yes, exactly. In fact, I think that's how they sold it. <laughs> yeah. And it had, uh, you know, carpeting. I would. Love, can you imagine having a, uh, a blue light now in there, a black light? Oh, carpeting God, on and the a walls shagging and wagon. blue lights. And... Shagging wagons are pretty cool, though. All right, you're up. You didn't know shagging wagon. All right. Um, what does it mean if someone has drip? Oh, that's gonorrhea or something, isn't it? That's a sexual disease, right? <laughs> no? No. Oh, damn, I thought it was close. Dad, do you know? If I've got the drip, someone, that's... I don't want to say that. Someone has drip. Uh, Game? I, I can speculate, but I... Eh, kind of. You're drip. So this is an adjective typically used to describe an outfit that is extremely fashionable. Jim, that is stylish. so drip. That shirt it's is so I, drip. I got a new shirt today that is so drip. Look at that drip. You look fab. You look not fat. F A P. Fab. Fabulous. Fab. So is fat out? P is in Bravo. Does anybody use fat anymore? P H A T. It's offensive. Why? Canceled. Why is P-H-A-T fat offensive? You look marvelous. marvelous. <laughs> okay, anyway, continue. All yeah. right. So we back suck to the at 70. this game. Yeah, this we is do. fucking useless. <laughs> jive turkey. Oh, I have no idea. Come on. That's some jive turkey. I have no That's clue. just a, a dumb person, right? Just, no. Uh, <laughs> it is an insincere, deceitful, dishonest person in the 70s. You jive turkey. What? I remember, An insincere, I remember those two guys from airplane. Dishonor. <laughs> I know that was the greatest thing ever. Excuse me, I talk jive. <laughs> <It's> a- <laughs> Barbara Billingsley, leave it to Beaver's mom, spoke jive. Excuse me, I. Sp- and then they're like, "Golly," and it's a shit. <laughs> it's freaking great. It was brilliant. But anyways, jive turkey is freaking. Uh, you know, uh, deceitful. You're a jive turkey. Never heard of it. All that. right. So we, we suck at this yeah, game. Yeah, we right. really this, suck at this. We are. This okay. Kinda Next. Okay. Boring. What does it mean to spill the tea? Tell the news. Give the information that you have. Uh, tell the news. Tell, well, you know, the, the news about something. I'm spilling the tea. <laughs> get get the know. lady on the horn. I got to tell her the tea. <laughs> I got <it. laughs> to spill the tea. What well, spill the tea? I'm old. So I gotta talk. I'm gonna. I gotta tell you. I gotta tell you the the, the secret. I gotta spill the story. Oh, the secret. Okay. I gotta talk the story. I gotta tell you. I, have, uh, I gotta tell you the tea. I, I feel like this. You gotta call me. I gotta tell you the tea. Spill the tea. I wouldn't say it's it's gossip. 
I so I was close. Like you got to tell well, the yeah. secret. Well, well, yeah, half point. Well, All right, so point. I'm winning this half. A, I am okay. I don't think. Uh, let's see. Hmm. Trying to do something easier for you. What's cracking? Isn't that just like what's up? Yes. Okay, I'll give you that. Good general greeting. Yes. Stop you. You're ruining the show. <laughs> yes. Okay. So now you're up one, and I get a half. So two a half. <laughs> Stop. We're gonna have to edit here. <laughs> okay. So what does it mean to be salty? Sassy. Pissed off. Pissed off. Bitchy. Grumbly. This isn't freaking sure. Pictionary or which, whatever you're I mean, whatever you're Charades. Playing. Yeah. <laughs> Slippy. Slappy. Uh, what? <laughs> Mom, you're going to have to make the deciding vote on that one. Because the true definition is bitter or upset. Yeah, bitchy. Yeah. I, Why I, are you being salty stop. about the freaking intro? Bitchy. You are being a little bitchy about the intro. Yes, I'm being salty about the intro that I wrote, <laughs> worked on salty. all week to write so it sounds perfect. So Mark will let me give you five words out. Yes. Mom, I'm, what do you say? Point, I'm no point? I'm salty on that. Do they get a point? Season the hell out yeah. of this because <laughs> I'm so fucking salty about <laughs> okay, it. Okay, here's the 70s one. Are you ready? Are you jiving yet? Are you dancing? Close. Having sex. <laughs> no, are you jiving? No. That's how you have you... The, masturbation is everything. Have you masturbated yet? That's in everyone. Okay. No. Are you relaxed? Are you jiving yet? Are you are you jiving yet? That doesn't make any sense. Jiving I'm just going about don't question the 70 slang. No, I'm questioning it because jiving is dancing and moving and wiggling around. Well, Why the is... fuck would you be sl- relaxed? Well, okay, Judge. Well, no, I have a question. Uh, you're raising your hand? Yes, yes, could you please uh go back a couple and tell me the definition of jive turkey? Jive turkey is an insincere, deceitful, dishonest person. You're so, a jive turkey. So, Listen to the way I'm sentencing this. You took my money, you jive turkey. All right. So if jive is insecure, deceitful, yada, yada, yada. No, because how is listen it to relaxed? it in a sentence. And this is 70 slang. First of all, let's go 70 slang. All right. You're a jive turkey. You just took money from me, you jive turkey. And now. Are you jiving yet? Are you relaxing? No. I'm just, listen. No, this, you're using jive turkey and jiving. I'm not. I'm just going by what the internet said. Okay. All right. We have two have more. Two more. And we're done. Two more. Just go through two more. You guys suck. Okay. My next one is when someone says thank you next. What does that mean? I say a hooker. What? Thank you next. Get it. <laughs> no. Hey, you're done with one. Thank you. Next. Thank you. Move on to the next. Yes. Subject. Thank you. Next. It's kind of like when you're at Coles. Thank you. Next. No. Oh. Slang term for when something was useful but has now passed. So when you say some A stupid shit, that you know, when you say some stupid shit, it's just thank you. Next. We're moving on. Okay. Mark, thank you. Next. It was used by Ariana Grande in her song <laughs> with the same title. Okay. Oh, interesting. Yeah. Well, thank is, you. Next. Okay. All I right. Remember that one. All right. You ready? This is a 70s slang. I got a skitty. You shit your underwear. I was going to no! say, oh, you no! need to do laundry. <laughs> I'm really late and I got a skitty. Leave? You have to hurry and leave. I got a skitty. Okay. Yeah, Kelly didn't like that one either. <laughs> but, and, well, I'm just, I, I'm not saying this is like a, you know. <laughs> Kelly doesn't appreciate it. All right, this, we're this, How long are we at? God damn it. Can we end this damn segment? This just sucks. No, we got one more. All right. One more. All right. All right. My last one is sus. See you sus. soon. No. Damn it. Can, can you use it in a sentence, please? Mm, someone is acting really sus in this room. Suspect, shady. Mm-hmm. Aha! I got Short one. for suspicious. When a situation or a person gives an impression that something they did is questionable, okay. it became famous with Among Us. If you guys have seen or played that, they were would tell a lot of people you're acting sus because they're, you're acting suspicious. I think I've seen that one. So if I text somebody, they'll know what I'm saying with that. T- try it at work. 
We, when one, I will, of, because one I work of your really coworkers much younger. is acting a little like suspicious on some shit, you're just turn sus. to him and just say you're. Or you're you know being what I could do? Right I get away with. I could hang up the phone and I'd be like, "That guy was acting sus," because I do fucking loans, and I bet you everybody around me go, "Whoa, yeah, I'm gonna do that. That's good. All right, I'm gonna do a good job. I'm gonna try that." I, I want to meet your coworkers. I know. They probably think you we're gonna have Tatiana on. Tatiana, if you're listening, we're gonna have you on. She's they the probably group think on. you live in an old folks' home. She is and one of those like... people that she's like, if you spend thirty dollars here, you get a ten dollar rebate. She's that kind of Mark, girl. Mark's gonna screw these things up and end up in HR. <laughs> Do we have an HR department with our work world? No. Uh, oh, I at, say at things at work, work, and George sits next to me. He goes, Mark, you need to go. You can't say that here. <laughs> oh, really? I told people that I didn't like pregnant women the other day, and we have a pregnant woman that sits right across from me directly oh across from me and i love my guy but not you my guy i said i, I like you <laughs> so other places have to correct you when you're about to say something yeah but wrong. they're not gonna f- okay. i'm old i can just say i'm old i'm sorry come Wait, on i have one more oh what do i let, let, let's have another round you gotta let me go then okay stay you wait hold on you wait like your yours, turn because yours don't make any sense yes they do all right are you ready yes keep on stepping Please, just keep them out. going. Like keep get it out moving. of my way. Get out of here. Okay, I'm done. So that's, I did an easy. So that's thank you. Next is keep the on the 2023 20, version of that. We gonna keep on. Like stepping. thank you. Next, get and out of my face. How would an Irish person said it? Ah, keep on stepping. <laughs> We're still... If we had any Irish listeners, they're all gone. Get, <laughs> they're just gone. Get, what did I lose them? Ah, oh, for fuck's sake, did I lose them at that? Yeah, I don't the know. first time you said. Okay, that? just go. Was it, it was 80s or 90s was get to step in. Like, I got to keep on, keep on, keep on, <laughs> keep on Spotify. dancing on through the night. If anybody knows this and you put it on our Facebook page, I'll give you a dollar. You got to keep he on. He won't give you shit, on, but we'd appreciate it if you did. Doing it right. What does vibe check mean? What is it? Vibe check. Vibe check. Hey, man, are you okay? I'm vibe checking you. Get an idea mm. how people are acting in the room. I'm vibe checking. You all right, dude? Yeah, dad's. Yeah, I guess you guys are. Yes, we win. A phrase, a phrase said before checking someone's vibe, aka how they are feeling. I know in what general, a vibe is. We got a vibe or about forever. a specific situation. Okay, vibe so I, I win vibe on the veggie burgers. Yum! I love veggie burgers. That makes no fucking sense. No, okay. That's that's no, a little. That's... What ten year old wrote this article? And it sounds like you actually tried to do the voice. <laughs> <laughs> it you just came know. out naturally. <laughs> Ooh. All right, are we finally done with it? Give me okay. Ah, oh, Suki Suki. This was big in the seventies. Ah, oh, Suki Suki. What the hell, Montana? My dog is joining us today and trying ah, to get Suki, up on my Suki. dog. So think of uh, Austin Powers. It's all oh, yeah, baby. Ah, uh, Suki Suki is all oh, yeah, baby. I wonder if they came out of Vietnam or something. I don't know. There's so there's let's just go. So there's some uh, easier. There's other ones. Peace out. We still use that to this day. Um, flower power. Mm. Would you know flower power? No, not really. Choosing peace over war, man. Flower power. Okay. Uh, what's another one? Uh, I'm going to my crib. That was 70s? I that, was, feel like yeah, that was, yeah. Like no, 90s. 70 started the the crib freaking thing. And then the <laughs> last one is uh, my man, my man. What does it mean to live rent free? Live rent free. L R F. L R F. No. Damn it! I was it's damn not it. An acronym or anything. Damn it! I was hoping I had that. Son of a bitch. That sucks. Not having any responsibility. No, when you can't stop obsessive, obsessively thinking about something that means it lives rent oh, free. Oh yes, yes, yes. Oh, oh that kind of messy. We wouldn't think of that. We'd be like, "Are you horny?" No, I've horny. I, no, I've, I've heard that. <laughs> I've heard that would. expression. Just kind of opposite. Don't let things live rent free in your head. Yeah, well, the cool young Gen yep. Zers are saying they're not cool, but the young Gen Zers are saying I like Jive Turkey. Free. That's my favorite of all this. So, like that video lives rent free in my head because I constantly think about that video. Hmm. Very okay. interesting. All right, well, well, there you go. Seventy slang versus millennial slang. I 
think that was fun. That wasn't millennial slang. That was Gen can Z. We get some, Sorry, can Gen we get Z. some uh, uh, no, we cannot. clapping on that? No. Come on. Boo. Oof. Boo. Thank you. Well, yes, thank you. Tink will be back soon. But Boo. that really wasn't a game. We were just trying to talk slang. Who's Tink? Hey, Tink's an important man, I heard. He's a pretty important guy. He's not allowed here. Well, we got so I launched my uh, before we leave. Are we are we wrapping things up? Is that what we're doing? Yeah. You, so are, I, I I I launched my uh, eighty twenty thing. I've got uh, t shirts. I've got my logo, all that stuff. So Jim's going to be putting them on uh, Facebook uh, so you guys can see our eighty twenty uh, motto. It's nobody's uh, because nobody's perfect, and uh, it'll be explained way in the future. But um, yeah. yeah, I mean, Let's the shirts are just cool. tell them you're, you're trying to write a book. I am. I'm trying to write, uh, you know, my uh, 80 20 book. It'll explain a lot of stuff, how I feel. And I don't know, but I'm 53 and I think I got a little bit of wisdom. So I'm going to try to pass it along. Sure. So I'm also trying the drum. So I'm, I'm done. Yes. My teacher's 10 and he's going to show me exactly what to do. I mean, he's, hey, wait, Kenny's when, a really good kid. He, when when do your drum lessons you know, start? Uh, Thursday. They Thursday. Start Thursday. So by next show, which will be approximately two weeks, I'm gonna learn this. Do do do. That's what I'm gonna have down. So. so Mark's gonna give us an update every week on how well he's doing with his drum lessons. I will. We can have a five minute update on that. I mean, I'm, eventually I'll have a drums. I, I've always wanted to learn, so I'm excited about that. But uh, yeah, I mean, it's been a fun week. Kayla, what are you looking forward to this week? I'm hoping that my work schedule doesn't change, so I can go to that festival. Um, over the weekend. Okay, you don't so, have any PTO. N- no, oh, you no. Up for Country Thunder, right? Yeah, I gotta uh, save true, it all for Country yeah. Thunder in a month. So yeah, I'm just hoping that I'm able to go up to that because that's really awesome that I got invited for free to go up. Absolutely, there, so. that's that's a great yeah. Absolutely. And Jim, what's your what's going on? Uh, so far right now, I'm going to Sedona on Wednesday. I went to Sedona and Camp Verde last week. Going to Sedona this Wednesday. Hopefully, get some more work coming in. That'd be nice. Great. That's cool. Well, I just want to say thank. Hey, listen seriously, everybody. Our last episode was the most listened to episode. So we—I know I said it earlier, but I really do appreciate it. And if you listen to it again, hopefully we get to one hundred and nine or what was it, one hundred and ten or whatever it was. So right. I, I know it's a our, little, our year little anniversary little. will be uh, July thirty first. We're talking about a part of your live show. We don't know yet. But I'd love to be at a thousand total downloads by then. And I think all of us and our groupie in the past, Carla is just like I love what I love about Carla. She's been at eighty percent of these things. She just sits in the back. But I think we've actually made leeway. I think between our first show, if you were to listen to our first show and listen to this, I think we've actually come come a long way. I don't. <laughs> Wah, wah, I, I'm wah, no, wah. I'm letting it go. I'm not letting it live rent free in my head. I mean, I, I guess I got listen. We don't have any say no, or reason with this show. It, we know that. No, but. it has. This has been a great time. The other thing I'm going to ask people: Hey, go to our Facebook page. Let us know you're there. Let us know someone's listening to us. Yeah, everybody out hello. there. I have seven on for us. I share this crap with you. You guys don't freaking do anything back. Come on, just give me some love and share the show with your friends. If you don't like us, they might. Yeah, somebody might. Of I course, know. we're at the end of the show, so probably no it one just, heard that. It just sucks like everybody has a, I, I wouldn't be surprised if Carla didn't have a podcast, and we don't know about it. We just listen to pod, her podcast. <laughs> She's going to do ASMR. Which is, what's that? Oh, is that? Anyway. Okay, we, we, yeah. we appreciate you guys. We, uh, you know, we could probably talk about this all night, so we love you. Thank you, Kayla. Say goodnight, everybody. Good night, everybody. Good night, everybody. Good night, everybody. Good night, everybody.